the hell was that? You know? Wait a minute, I got to see it walk into my camp. I got to see it three feet away. Wow. I got to see it walk across the creek. Up the but it was a good six, seven feet tall. Here, hey, hold up. Let's start this right. Get things rolling. Seven or eight. All right, hold on. I'm sitting here with Don and Ken Black. Oh, Lord. We're in Cane Beds, Arizona, and they, they believe they saw something. So, tell us what happened. Well, driving to work. About Early what time? morning, two in the morning. About two? Two to three. Yeah, and then uh, windy and uh, sagebrush blowing across, and then we've seen this thing run across the road in the headlights, probably like 200 feet in front of us. It was gray, and I thought I'd seen shit until my wife said, yeah, no, it was there. And it was, to me it was gray. I mean, it could have been brown at that time. Right, headlights, headlights make it look you, different. You, you don't know. And then, I, you know, I, and it, it booked. I mean, this is haul ass. And it, it was running. Yeah, it was quick. Was it moving its arms? Yeah. Yeah, both. It was like, it was totally running. It like looked a like a man being, running across but it was the road, seven or eight we feet know tall. there was no man. Anything yeah. unique about the movement of it? Yeah. It caused the way I was walking. It was smooth. It was just, just, yeah. just That's smooth. That's a common thing people say. It's called fluid. People talk fluid. about, people talk about when they see him moving quickly. Their heads don't move up or down like ours do. They're yeah, it was level. just. No, it was. It, it was, was like, like something you would see. In, I don't know. It was, and then I was like, "What the hell was that?" And was that what I just thought it was? And it's the bend of the knees. Yeah. They don't walk like us. About, yeah. about how tall? It had, it had a bend. It, I mean, it was bent. You know, I mean, yeah. like, it was crazy. About how tall you think? What you At saw least was seven feet, if not six eight. Or eight seven. Or so you're saying maybe six or seven, maybe seven or eight. Okay. Yeah. Um, it looked like a very large. Okay, yeah, I was gonna ask you now, what, what was human. it? What was it built like? Was it more slight? Was it very robust and muscular? Like it, what did it, it, was look? Muscular. it was more skinny. It seemed no, like it, no, it was muscular. I mean, it was. But it, but it was, wasn't like fat, like hulky. Uh, it wasn't a fat fucker. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't it was fat like at all. It was just it was tall and thin. Like lean. Mm -hmm. It was lean. Was it, it was big? Which would make sense in this environment. It was big. Yeah. It wasn't no small animal to fuck with. Okay. Call him healthy. It yeah. was healthy. I mean, <laughs> but it ran. I mean, it just went across and, like I said, we haven't seen it for a second. Right, right. A few well, more than a second. But so, I, when you. I do have a question. Go ahead. Is that the hair? Yeah. Was it flowing or was it short? It was shorter. Most of it was short. There it was looked, it, to me, it <laughs> looked like it was just, it was shorter. Mm -hmm. It went way long. Mm -hmm. But I, well, but you could tell there was hair on the on it. Yeah, there was a few prominent places up top that looked thicker. Yeah. Cause, but the you rest know, of it was pretty. What thin. I usually say is that when they have short hair, it's well manicured. They're well healthy. Yeah. Huh. I mean, that's what we call a healthy animal. Out yeah. Oh, I can guarantee it's healthy. Oh yeah. What? Um, but what what got me too is I I seen the fur and then I seen the yep. little bit of the facial it was this skin. It wasn't. So it actually looked. <laughs> well, I just seen the side of it. Uh, so how now, much? Because you seen the, you seen the hair come over. You, can, you know, you see all the fur, and then you seen the, the face sticks out a little bit more because it's different. You no, know, right. color and, and not covered in hair. Yeah. Right. So how much? Like, what was the hair like on the face? Was it like a man where you could see around the cheekbones and the eyes, it, or was the to whole me when I small? seen it, it looked like it just came around the face, and okay. then this is all. Was was. Bald. What bald? Okay. Interesting. Uh, and like I said, you was moving quick. Did you see its eyes? No. Okay. It was just kind of a, it, just, it looked yeah. straight this way, went across the road, and then it was gone. What about hands? Did you notice anything about the hands? Uh, I didn't look the hands too close because I was going, what the fuck what about was you? that? Did you notice anything However about However it was moving, it was kind of just in a... So I didn't mm -hmm. see like any fingers. It's or just booking across. But running a little different than a man would run. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, totally different. Hey, it was like... Watch. The legs are half bent. That's what I meant. And it seems like it was hauling out. It was happening. I mean, it, it, it didn't. A person could have run that quick. And this was at the brick. What's this highway number out here? I was forgetting. 59. Highway 59. So Highway 59 that yeah. runs from right. Brick in Utah to Fredonia. All the way down Fredonia to Fredonia, Fredonia Arizona. Arizona. Well, and does this, it change when it hits Arizona? It becomes 89A. Yeah, 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 that's right. But here it's 59. So we this at a sign this yeah. happened at the bridge of Short Creek, Colorado City, in the, yeah, Colorado City and Hilldale, Hilldale where they yeah, in between, yeah, yeah, and it was coming from the direction of town, heading east into the to west, desert. yeah, mm -hmm. east to west, okay. And there's a lot of water out here. This is the desert for people. There's going to be people yeah. this who have no idea about this area. This mm -hmm. is behind Zion National Park, border of Utah and Arizona. It's desert, but it's about what seven to eight thousand feet up here. Five thousand, five thousand, over five thousand feet. Yeah. yeah. So it's 
you know, it's desert, but you got a fair amount of vegetation. There's water up the and canyons. there's water. Water up the canyons. Water up the canyons and water that flows year round through the town, though it does get down to a trickle. So there's there's a big deer population here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Famous for mule deer out here. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Bunnies, coyotes, snakes. Plenty of live. Yeah. Hawks. In fact, all the bugs just popped out in the last couple of days. All, chickens. all of them. Yeah. Huge <laughs> birds, eagles. There's huge eagles. They can pick up chickens. So, uh, so you mentioned when we were talking on the phone that you've had other times out here where you felt like you were being watched. Yeah, when I was a kid up hiking up in the canyon, I felt, you know, sometimes I got nervous about what the hell is watching me. What canyon? Water canyon? Uh, water canyon, squirrel canyon up that way. Yeah. I've only been up to squirrel once, but that a squirrel opens up kind of into a little bit of an oak forest. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We've chased her up there before on horseback. Cool. All right. Anything else you want to say about it? But, yeah, it, it was just, no, I've seen it more than once, but at least uh, this time I had somebody, hey, what the hell is that sort of thing? I just see Yeah, I show. was right. like, that was definitely uh, something else. Had to watch you. Because your brain, when you first see something like that, your brain tries to go, nah. That quick. That's something. <laughs> that, that quick of exciting, you don't realize what you and like, and Somebody else sees the same did thing. Did I just see, see what I and, thought people just like were crazy thinking about? Oh, yeah, that's a Sasquatch. Yeah. I just fucking saw it with my own eyes. Oh, wait a minute. Did I really Gosh. like. And then, babe, did we just see that? And then, yeah, we did. And we talked about it all the way to her thing like it was so crazy. Like, you know? So have somebody else see that. You, your brain goes, okay, I did see that. You know what I mean? Because right. when you first see it, you don't have to see shit. You know, this early in the morning, I'm tired and going to work. Yeah. Yeah, Probably shit. just the guy running across the road in the middle. Well, of I knew it was no guy. Yeah. Hell. It's it's wearing hell. Wearing a fur coat. Trying to, your mind's trying to comprehend. And we tell yeah. some of our friends about it, right? And they're like, so someone's just dressed up trying to trick you. I'm like, on a Monday or Tuesday at yeah, 3 a.m. in the morning, why would they? Right. And around here, this is, like, the, this is the country and about as country as it gets. You ain't going to like, And that was not a nor That was a very tall person. They would have been wearing out, stilts yeah. and the way it moved. Everybody it out here carries guns. Everybody out here, they saw something. Like that. Yeah, we'll probably shoot. Legs and I don't want to piss oh, off his brother. <laughs> but it's not a place where it'd be very smart to get a fake costume and walk around. No. Somebody would shoot. Yeah, just mm -hmm. for self defense. You think, what the hell is that yeah. coming at me? But yeah. No, there. I mean, it, it's crazy because well, I've seen it more than one time. Encounter before that, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. I think just You're driving, young. just driving to work. I, I mean, know. I mean, this early morning. I mean, it's probably long? over a year ago. About a year ago. Same Since area. Since I moved out here, yeah. Same area? I don't know, same area. I'm trying to remember. But I was by myself, and yeah. I was just like, what the hell was that? You know? Mm -hmm. And then kind of just like, forgot about it. Went to work. But you have somebody else with you, goes, hey, that's you actually see what you've seen. And it's like, oh, shit. You know? Cool. So, uh, so you think about it more, you start really oh, yeah, thinking yeah. about what you was actually looking at. It took me four years. Yeah. I mean, four years of research to figure out it wasn't a fluke of nature. Yeah. So they've told us where, uh, just for the sake of the video, they've told us where they saw this at. And uh, me and Will are going to ride up there. It's been about a week, yeah. and it has been windy. Yeah. So we're going to go up there and look around a little bit, see if we see any kind of tracks or anything like that. And I just put up a Bigfoot sign at bees. Did you? Did you? <laughs> yeah, saying if you've had a Sasquatch sighting in the area, please contact yeah. Southern Utah Bigfoot Association. You know, yes. I put those up all over the West, and we have had people yeah. contact us. Yeah. And in this area... Week of Christmas, I think I told y'all, mm -hmm. somebody called or emailed with a very clear description of finding tracks right in St. George. I'm right about, down. Yeah, I'm about and, and I went up and looked, and I didn't see anything, but there were, you know, so many people tracks, yeah. the high mm -hmm. traffic area. Didn't see anything myself, but it was only like maybe a week and a half later that Will messaged me finding... Uh, Somebody had reported and Enterprise. shot video of uh, Enterprise. tracks up in Enterprise, oh, Enterprise that matched the description of the other ones. And now, this is what, four months later, three, three and a half months later, yeah. and you've seen what you've seen. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Yeah, so, that's crazy. All right, cool. I'm going to cut this camera off. Somebody's okay. just running around. All right, so we just met with Don and Ken Black in Kane Beds, Arizona, just over the state line from Utah. Real, real. Rural, beautiful area, desert. And uh, they told us their experience. About seeing what they believe was a Sasquatch. And uh, Ken is uh, he's a veteran that saw conflict and a real good, honest guy. So is Dawn, just an honest woman. Very good people. 
they didn't believe in this thing until they saw it. Used to rag on me for talking about it. So, Ken got a kick out of rubbing it in my face. He said, I seen it twice and I wasn't even looking for it. So we're gonna ride out to the site now, me and Will from We Can Hear Them. He's a Sasquatch researcher. It's a real windy day. I am not expecting to find anything as far as footprints because of the wind. But uh, this is Highway, I wanna say 59. One of the most scenic areas right here behind Zion National Park. Arizona Strip, one of, if not the most wide open place in the nation. That's also where we put on the Colorado City Music Festival. There's a lot of forest up in these canyons, a lot of water, a lot of wild game. Record mule deer come out of here. See, there's a fair amount of vegetation. All right, we're gonna go check it out. Tom Bennett, Southern Utah Bigfoot Association Squatch Hard. So you gotta see. This is Colorado City, Arizona. The Utah side is Hillville, Utah. Called the Crick, Short Creek. And this is home, the traditional home of the FLDS, Mormon Fundamentalist Group. This is where we put on the Colorado City Music Festival at the base of El Cap Mountain, a big one out there. And right up here, this is the road Don and Ken were on. Ooh, we got a little tornado going out here, get the size dust devil. This is the road Don and Ken were on. That's probably gonna take our tracks away if there are any. And this bridge coming up up here is where their sighting took place, just past it. Dirt road. So we have something here, an indentation, would you say about two and a half, three inches deep? Uh, easy. And about, what, 13 inches long? I didn't bring a tape. But yeah. What size should you 12, wear? 12, 12, you wear 13. A, put your foot up next to it again. What size do you wear? 10 and a half. 10 and a half, and this is. That goes all the way up. Yep, and then we got a branch that was pushed down too. So we'll find that one right there. That could be something. We'll see what I have very bad publicity, so <laughs> it's fine. I'm not worried about that. So Will's out here looking. We're trying to see if there could be any more footprints. Yep. Consistent digging. Watch hard. 